Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. You recognize this handsome young man, and this machine is a Western world renowned machine, and we're seeing it for the first time here, aren't yes. we, Bob? Yes, I'm super excited to debut our I2, our turn mill with the B-axis head. Super excited about this. We've been waiting for this machine for a long time, uh, packed with technology. Yeah, I had a great opportunity to be in Korea with Bob and Kloss and a lot of those folks over there. So I had a sneak peek to have this conversation. When I look at this machine, I think about the quality that went into it, the investment that went into it, and understanding the technology itself is that type of machine that can take complex parts from raw stock to finished part in one and one, you know, one and done as we're calling it, or yeah, done in one as we're calling it. That's kind of how it all works. But I want you to uh, elaborate on this machine specifically with Watch On. Yeah, we, you know, we've been making multitasking machines for quite some time. And actually, back in I believe it was uh, uh, 2014, we debuted the i3. It was also a B-axis, but it was a behemoth, uh, just a giant machine. But that's not what the market was looking for. They were looking for a compact design uh, B access. So we did a little benchmarking. We saw what everyone else was doing and we made one better. So we have the I2 today. These, these are eight inch chuck match spindles, true integral motored spindles um, with the B axis head for that flexibility. So right now I have match spindles, but maybe later we can put a tailstock on there or we can put a lower turret on there, but that's all future um, applications. Uh, where this one is perfect for that one and done, just like you said. We're putting the raw material into the main spindle and then spindle two is taking the second op, but full capability, right? right. Because they're match spindles. We have a super compact head, but super accurate. We're using a roller type uh, design, not just a worm gear. So it's a, a roller type um, B access head. So that gives you zero backlash. So super precision. Again, everything that Watchion thinks about is high precision. High precision and robustness. If we took this sheet metal off back here, you would see that, oh my goodness, that is quite a structure. It looks like a horizontal machining center or a vertical machining center. So it, it's very rugged design. But also we thought about the operators, the ergonomics of this machine. You can see the operator can get right to the main spindle or the, the second spindle. So we thought of that as well. And we put the famous Harmony control on Gotta be in Harmony. And you can see the graphic interface. We're seeing real time what's going on. Uh, crash protection, programming, ease of programming. This is very complex, so it's not that easy to program. But with the Harmony, like that, you can program it right here on the floor. Bob, did I ever tell you the story about I used to program line by line? Yeah, yeah. I could never do that with this. No. That's what Harmony is for. That's what Harmony is for. Three things you brought up that I think are very important to reiterate because across the board in manufacturing, they become issues in some cases when we look at these style of machines. You mentioned pretty much max spindle, right? Meaning it's not a sub spindle. It's not just secondary where we right. lose the power, the strength. You also mentioned the precision of the machine head, the spindle head itself, and then also the rigidity and torque and horsepower that goes into a, a, oftentimes that will lose some of that in the spindle head. Here, you're incorporating all of this. It is not a secondary spindle on the side and the main spindle is still gonna have the torque and the precision. We're not losing anything here to go along with the Harmony software, are we? Absolutely. Again, watch on designs and builds everything, right? So we made the headstock. This is a special uh, compact headstock so we can get in between the two spindles. So they think about everything. Also, the tool changer behind you is conveniently there for the operator. You don't have to go to the back of the machine and load the tools, have a transfer mechanism, which breaks down. Here it's directly in the in the front of the machine, easy to use. You can change tools on the fly. So it's all thought process about taking care of that operator, the convenience of the operator, from the tools to the spindles to the programming system. Yeah, very well said, Bob. And we'll close this out uh, just by saying what you, that resonated with me. You know how many times I've seen somebody pop a part into a machine and then they have a boring bar that's this long? Exactly. And because the, the head itself is too, too big, big and bulky, I now can't machine that part anymore. I just can't right. get in there to do it. Right. 
really, really well said. Is there anything you'd like to, to uh, convey to the audience to summarize what we've discussed on this machine? Because we are talking Western Hemisphere for the world. First time for people to see it here at IMTS and on the video. Well, this is a product that's been in development for quite some time. It is a bulletproof machine, especially with the Harmony control on there. Nobody should be afraid of getting into higher advanced technology when you have a package like this. Yeah, very well said, my friend. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate you as well. I hope this has been educational and well worth your time. If you want to know more, reach out to Watch On anytime. Bob, I have a cell phone number. All of his friends and partners do. That's what Watch On brings you is that family experience and also they build everything on their own. So if you need something customized, reach out to this guy. They'll work with you.